prayed a lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers, he made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. 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 And we must say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say, I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. 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 Let the church say amen. Everybody say amen. Okay, so let's dive into this. According to The Athletic, Kyrie is not anti-vaccine and that his stance is that he's upset that people are losing their jobs due to vaccine mandates is a stance that Irving has explained to close teammates. Uh, to him, this is about a grander fight than the one on the court, and Irving is challenging a perceived control of society and people's livelihood. According to sources with knowledge of Irving's mindset, it's a decision that he believes he's capable to make given his current life dynamics. Kyrie wants to be a voice for the voiceless. Kyrie himself has chosen so far to not speak publicly, though, about his views. If this story is true, Stephen A., I'll start with you here. Uh, a lot to unpack. Marcus Spears also here with us and Jay Williams. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we got a lot to get into, so we'll dive right into it here. Stephen A., should our position on Kyrie change? Yes, it should change in regards to Kyrie. Um, it should be even worse than we originally imagined. You know, I have to be, and I try to be, uh, incredibly careful, fellas, uh, in terms of I try to focus on what you do, not who you are. People make mistakes. None of us are flawless. All of us have made mistakes. We'll continue to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. We get all of that. But I've been covering the NBA now for almost 25 years. I mean, this is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. This is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. This is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. This is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. <laughs> Just flat out stupid. So let me get this straight. So if the reports are true, because we don't know whether they are or not, okay, but let's give credit to Sham and others who have reported this. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Let's go with that, okay? If it is true, Jay, if it is true, Marcus, so you don't have a problem with taking the vaccine, your position is that you're going to sit up there and compromise the championship aspirations of an organization you signed on to represent. You coaxed Kevin Durant in the signing on to represent. You coaxed, you played a role in coaxing James Harden into signing on to represent. You're going to compromise all of that 
because you want to give a voice to the voiceless. Really? And how is that going to work out for you, Kyrie Irving? You're going to disappear from the game of basketball? Who the hell is going to be interested in what you have to say when you have proven that you can't even be trusted enough to do your damn job? Do your damn job. Do your damn job. Do your damn job. This is Hoppin' Bob. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. I'm tired, boss. He said it's too hot, boss. He tired. Too hot. He tired. Uh huh. You tell that lazy jigaboo the state of Mississippi I ain't interested in his meteorological assessment. Listen up, jigaboo. State of Mississippi ain't interested in your your uh, 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 meteorological assessment. You tell him the state of Mississippi is only interested in getting this here ditch cleared by sundown. State of Mississippi want this here ditch cleared by sundown. You got that, boy. Got it. Boss. He don't sound like he from around here. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. a job you volunteered for. This ain't the military where you were drafted. You chose to play basketball. You chose to enter the NBA. You chose to sign that contract as a free agent to go to the Brooklyn Nets. You chose Brooklyn as your destination. You chose the Nets franchise to represent. You asked KD and James Harden to come on board with you in Brooklyn to establish your own legacy, and then you leave them hanging. Because of what exactly? Your own individual principle? I am not calling Kyrie Irving stupid. Kyrie Irving, I happen to believe, is an intelligent brother. Mm -hmm whose heart is in the right place. But now you've regressed to an alarming level of self-righteousness. It not only makes you look hypocritical and untrustworthy, it makes you look what I know you are not, which is flat out stupid, which is flat out stupid, which is flat out stupid, which is flat out stupid. He said it's too hot, Paul. He tired. Too hot. He tired. Uh -huh. You tell that lazy jigaboo the state of Mississippi I ain't interested in his meteorological assessment. Listen up, jigaboo. State of Mississippi ain't interested in your, your, uh, 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 meteorological assessment. You tell him the state of Mississippi is only interested in getting this here ditch cleared by sundown. State of Mississippi want this here ditch cleared by sundown. You got that, boy. Got it. Boss. He don't sound like he from around here. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. It's the stupidest thing that I think I've encountered with NBA players. Like, you going you you going to sit up there and not play and not take a vaccine. That uh, evidently it's not you. You don't have a problem with it, according to the reports. You just want to give a voice to the voiceless? Really? Y you know what? I'm going to stop myself, let, Molly, let me say Marcus, let me say something about Jay. The I'm not going to say anything else right now. I'm, I'm scared. Oh, what I, mm. I'm actually scared for the rest of the show. Okay. And it wasn't my, what I might say. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Jay, before I come to you, because I know you have information on this subject, I just want to say, when Stephen A., when you bring up the issue hypocrisy, I think there's two th issues that stand out to me. One, he wants to be a voice for the voiceless, but we haven't heard from him. So if you want to stand up, you have to speak out on these issues so we understand. We can't just, you know, hear a story and we're not even sure whether it's true or not. And the other piece is that he's upset about people losing their jobs. But what about all the people that lost their lives during oh this pandemic? God, no. <laughs> That's another piece of hypocrisy. So those are the two issues I struggle with. I love a philanthropic heart, but, but there, he just, it, it just doesn't seem to be consistent here, Jay.
Yeah, uh, S.A., I want to go back and dig into something that you said, an imperative word you mentioned earlier, uh, that was legacy. And a lot of times as a player, you sit around and swag, you know this, you think about throughout some juncture in your career, what is the legacy for me going to be? How am I going to be remembered? Because for me, I remember Kyrie Irving having a legacy shot when he made a clutch three-point shot to beat the Golden State Warriors in the 2016 NBA Finals to deliver Cleveland their first world championship. And as I sit here today, October 13th, 2021, I'm seeing that legacy turn into he's going to be remembered for the shot that he didn't take. And mm. I would really hope that Kyrie, as much as he wants to fight for people that are being mandated by companies to take the vaccine, how he decides to continue to elevate his voice, if that's what he believes in, if the report is true and that's what he believes in, he needs to continue to utilize the platform of the NBA to raise his voice to continue to talk about that because he needs to spend more time thinking about what is the legacy of Kyrie Irving going to be? The shot that I made back in 2016 or the shot that I never took that if I decide not to take will end my career and end my platform and not allow me to have the opportunity to continue to be that voice for the voiceless. So, so see, this is why sometimes you need more time to talk about these subjects because it's very nuanced. But what I will say is this, and, and listening to Stephen A. and UJ Will, the voice for the voiceless, right? We sitting here as three black men. And, and when, when I hear voice for the voiceless, I think about things that are being imposed on people Um, that 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 relates to underserving, relates to discrimination, relates to work for work environments that don't allow you um, to to re fully reach your potential. COVID ain't racist. COVID ain't ain't nothing that somebody said. Hey, we you need to stop getting people sick and ill and 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 causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. Causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. Causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. 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 And it's caused by the fact that despite America having unprecedented and successful vaccination program, despite the fact that for almost five months, free vaccines have been available in 80,000 different locations, we still have nearly 80 million Americans who have failed to get the shot. While the vaccines provide strong protection for the vaccinated, we read about and hear about and we see the stories of hospitalized people, people on their deathbeds, among the unvaccinated over the past few weeks. We are learning more about a woman in the North Bay who was fully vaccinated, got COVID, and then died. Her friends say she was a talented painter, singer, and businesswoman. They also believe that she and other vaccinated people got infected during a performance at a Sausalito bar. One person has contracted COVID and died after being fully vaccinated. Now, before you get overly concerned, Judge Clay Jenkins says this person was an organ transplant recipient, but he reminds us that anyone who is immunocompromised is still vulnerable to the virus, even after getting vaccinated. So my issue with this whole vaccine debate is that I think that, you know, from the beginning of COVID, the American people are pretty good at their own risk assessment. I think when they become really irrational and sort of, you know, deranged about it is when they feel pushed into a corner. And that has been the whole story of this vaccine rollout in my mind. It's just been name and shame and blame. And oh, by the way, even if you do the thing we want you to do, we're still going to treat still, you. You still right. can't. There's like, no yeah, cost. Still got to wear your mask. Right. Still exactly. Yeah. And I'll be totally honest. Honest, that is why I got the vaccine, right? I, I decided mm -hmm. there were two things I really wanted to do. One was travel and the other was live my life again, like normally without restrictions. That is, those were overwhelming factors for me. Um, as a relatively healthy person, I decided I wanted to do it for those reasons. 
all of this hype now, you know, that you can't do anything, you know, regardless of if you're vaccinated, and you should blame those 80 million people for, you know, every possible thing wrong under the sun, I just think is one of the most destructive forces I've seen in our politics lately. I do think that when you take away the whole shaming and the mandating and the you must do this, you are way more likely to get people to take it. I still, however, don't believe that the vaccine is for other people. I do think that it is for yourself. I think that this UK study is very interesting, but we have to remember they, they have a different vaccine than us. They have AstraZeneca that's not available to us here. Um, we do know that Pfizer, which I think the majority of us took, is unfortunately wears off. So we're practically not vaccinated. I mean, I would say you're not vaccinated anymore if you got that Pfizer shot early on. You know, it, it wears off so much. And that's why they're talking about boosters. I, I don't think you should treat yourself as necessarily vaccinated in that case. And that is why uh, what we're seeing is um, we're seeing higher rates of that spread inside of those. You know, like here in Los Angeles, I believe half of our cases now are uh, fully vaccinated people and climbing each month. Causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. Causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. Causing them to die from circumstances of having to deal with COVID-19. So I, I, I don't necessarily understand who are you speaking for when you say that these vaccine mandates, you're, you're, ha you're raising a voice for the voiceless. I don't understand that. Like when, when I think about a voice for the voiceless, I think about all of the issues that we've talked about, not only in the NBA, Stephen A, you've talked about black coaches in the NBA. You've talked about black people in leadership. We got this ongoing discussion about how the diversity and inclusion needs to be a real thing instead of being on pamphlets and things just being said and, and structure in the NFL. I just don't understand this one. This one bothers me, and I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Molly, on something you said. Like, like COVID not worried about Kyrie if he voiceless or, or has a voice? Like, I, I tell y'all again, I had an aunt that spent three months in the hospital, touch and go for two months. This is not, this is not anything I heard about or read about. This is something that I absolutely saw. Not only drain on her, drain on our children, drain on my, my mother, who is a sister and the family. And not one time did I think that if somebody was to mandate this vaccine, that it would have to be a situation where you had to have an athlete stand up and say, I want to represent the people that don't want to take a vaccine that are losing their positions. Man, these companies don't care about that. Like, what? who are you being a voice for? If you're being a voice for people that are, are not choosing to take a vaccine, that work for companies that are, are, are saying we want a vaccine mandate, that's the bottom line. That is their right. We work for ESPN. We work for Disney. We have a vaccine mandate at this company. And it is simple as this. If you don't want to take it, you will no longer have a job. Those are the consequences. Those are the things that you have to deal with and you have to make a personal decision. What? Yes, it's consequences if you choose not to. That's the bottom line. So the voice for the voiceless, and oh, by the way, okay, you got a lot of people in this country that had to take the vaccine that didn't want to take two so they could continue on with their livelihood and taking care of their family. They put that at the forefront of not de not deciding to take a vaccine. Kyrie mm -hmm. is worth over $200 million. Hey, hey, people out there that that's not taking these vaccines, you stand on what you stand on. But the bottom line is you ain't in the same position Kyrie Irving is well, in. Well, here's the that. deal. It's a couple of things. It's a couple of things. Number one, <clears throat> to throw this out there, New York and California, mainly San Francisco and Los Angeles is the two cities, and along with New York City, are the only ones with the mandate at this particular moment in time. I do not believe that will last. I ultimately think that that is something that would spread, no pun intended, and as a result, uh, you'll see restrictions and mandates being handed down 
uh, uh, across NBA cities throughout this country. That's what I believe, first, personally, uh, even though some people would ask why those are only three cities with the mandate at this particular moment in time. That's something we could get into another day. You also have some people out there uh, that are talking about how Ty Kyrie Irving will have a huge lawsuit, you know, and, and he'll win or whatever. Shut the hell up. Ain't nobody trying to hear that either, okay? Here's the bottom line. What you went to last, Marcus, when you talked about Kyrie Irving has earned over $200 million in his career, probably more. Here's the reality. That's really why you're taking this position. This is Hoppin' Bob. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You see, this is the kind of stuff that annoys me. And I remember I've said this on numerous occasions when people were talking about, you know, you got players that come into the league and they talk about keeping it real, being authentic and all of this other stuff. And I remember when one player, I brought up how he rolled up in the draft. And you rolled up in the draft and you had on suits and your hair was cut just nice and you were looking sharp as hell and the whole stuff. Why? Because you were trying to get your money. Then once you got your money, now you want to tell everybody about being real and, and, and potentially compromising their bottom line because you no longer have to be concerned about yours. See, that's where the selfishness comes in here. The selfishness also comes in here when you're talking about leaving your teammates hanging. And all I'm saying is at the end of the day, when you talk about a voice, listen, Kyrie spoke to the media, Jay. He said, it's a privacy matter. Kyrie spoke to the media, Jay. He said, it's a privacy matter. Kyrie spoke to the media, Jay. He said, it's a privacy matter. Kyrie spoke to the media, Jay. He said, it's a privacy matter. <laughs> We can only presume that you're not joining us right now because of vaccination. I'm curious, is that accurate? And if so, uh, or do you expect to be either vaccinated or compliant in time by the time you guys come back from L.A. after that postseason game, after the preseason game? Yeah, no, Brian, I appreciate your questions, bro. Honestly, I, I like to keep that stuff private, man. I'm a, I'm a human being first and obviously living in this public sphere. Um, it's just a lot of questions about what's going on and you know, in the world of, of Kyrie. And, and I think I, I just uh, would love to just keep that private and, um, you know, handle it the right way with uh, my team and uh, go forward uh, together uh, with, with the plan. So, you know, obviously I'm not able to be present there today, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm putting any limits on the future of me being uh, able to join the team. And I just want to keep it that way. So we can keep that private. Now at our Sunrise Live, hundreds of you are talking about this story on our Facebook page, Kirk Cousins and why he is not getting the COVID vaccine. Kirk Cousins and why he is not getting the COVID vaccine. Kirk Cousins and why he is not getting the COVID vaccine. The quarterback is back on the field at Vikings training camp after being put on the COVID reserve list because of possible exposure to COVID-19. At this press conference yesterday, Cousins was, pr Cousins was pressed about whether he was vaccinated against COVID. He never directly answered that question. He never directly answered that question. He never directly answered that question. He called his vaccination status private. He had to miss practice after practices rather after coming in close contact with Kellen Mond, who tested positive this past weekend. Cousin says he tested negative for the virus several times before returning to practice. Now that he's back, he wants everyone to know his focus this season is on making sure there are no close contact situations again. I think the vaccination decision is a private, very private health matter for me, and I'm going to keep it as such. Um, uh, I do believe that as a leader of the team, it's very important uh, to follow the protocols to avoid this close contact. That's what he said. He had an opportunity to explain himself. He continues to get opportunities yeah, so how is to that explain being himself. Avoid? But he's saying, excuse me, it's a privacy matter. Respect my privacy. So what voice is he talking about? But but see, yeah, can, you, it. Can, can I ask you a quick question on this, sure, one, man? Sure. And sure. I, I'm I'm all I'm I'm pro vaccine. I, I've taken a vaccine. I'm double vaxxed. So have I. But you, you you said that he's selfish. Doesn't he have the right to be selfish to do what he wants to do for Kyrie? He hasn't yes, said well, anything. Well, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. He hasn't came. No, he hold hasn't on, said that. He hasn't came out and said that other people I'm, should I'm not. Answering he hasn't question. said anything at all. I'm answering your question. I'm answering yes. your question. Of course, he has the right. That's the part that annoys me. 
when people say he has a right, you act like us criticizing him is us saying he doesn't have the right. He does have the right. Absolutely. But he also has the right to be called out for it. He said it's too hot, Paul. He tired. Too hot. He tired. Uh -huh. You tell that lazy jigaboo the state of Mississippi I ain't interested in his meteorological assessment. Listen up, jigaboo. State of Mississippi ain't interested in your, your uh, 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 meteorological assessments. You tell him the state of Mississippi is only interested in getting this here ditch cleared by sundown. State of Mississippi want this here ditch cleared by sundown. You got that, boy. Got it. Boss. He don't sound like he from around here. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. Just like somebody has the right to be real. Well, guess what? There's various levels of real. You can be real stupid. You can be real dumb. You can be real selfish. You can be real hypocritical. There's a whole bunch of levels of realness out there in the real world. Nobody is questioning Kyrie's right to take the position that he's taking. What I'm talking about as a, a person that loves the game, that loves the game of basketball, that's looking forward to the Brooklyn Nets trying to win a championship. Wait, I can't believe that you're sitting here and then he brings up research and all of this other stuff. Well, damn it, it's, 19, it's almost more than 19 months that this pandemic has been going on. How much research do you need? We've heard players bringing up research and how they're going to talk to their teammates as if their teammate is an epidemiologist or somebody. There's certain things that are just ridiculous, and that needs to be said. What's ridiculous okay. is that we're talking about people losing their jobs, and there's people that lost their lives. Yeah. That's the part that's ridiculous. Yeah. And guys, I can speak to that. My grandmother was perfectly healthy, got COVID, and I was in there in the hospital when she couldn't breathe and she couldn't speak. And it's what? a nightmare. So that I don't know how we're not touching on that issue in terms of him standing up for people. I, I, I'm, I'm with you guys on all this. I've lost a family member. I've had COVID twice. I, I get it. I, I, I just want to be careful when we start going down this road that we're going to act like Kyrie Irving being vaccinated or not being vaccinated is going to change the minds of millions of people. Like, it, we start going Who down this road that? where we start... I know, but I'm just telling you how it feels some people, Stephen A. When you start calling people stupid or you start calling people saying that they're selfish and these things start going all over the internet, that creates a different narrative. And people oh, so start that's fighting right. back okay. against that narrative. I'm yeah, just yeah, telling you how it is on the other side, okay. Stephen A. I know well, you have your, your thoughts on how you side. see things. What's the other side? What's the other side? The point I'm is always, we're, I'm we're the sitting here... I'm being vaccinated, uh, man. I'm just, just trying to tell I, you I when you start... I didn't say you weren't. We're okay. talking about we're talking about a bet. You're the one that took it there, Jay. We're talking about a basketball. There, yes. We're talking about a basketball player who signed on to play for the Brooklyn Nets that has left his team hanging. Yes, That's because what of we're his talking own about. Personal decision. He's choosing okay. to do that for him. And when you okay. go through an and, unprecedented and, and, time in, in, okay. in the history of this right. country, so, so, you so have your own away. individual right to all make right. your so, own decision so, about what you want to do oh, for you and I got your family. So I just respect words, so, that right. So why, I'm not so saying I agree just, with that right. So why I respect you, All right, it. then. You respect the right. I'm saying yes. that you know. I'm saying that you know. Okay. If, you're sitting up there, if you're signed on to do a job, okay, and that's what comes with it. That comes with it. Now I can get deeper and bring up the fact that the president of the healthcare system, virtual healthcare system in South Jersey, was the one that personally took me to the ICU. To the ICU, and I I'm not disagreeing with that, though, Stephen. I, I, I didn't say you but were. You, you act like Let we've had a hundred percent vaccination I did, I, I, rate in this I, I, country I, I, since the beginning no, of all I'm illnesses that have occurred. You we know what, not. Jay? Jay, you sound full of it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not full of it. We're not talking about that. 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 You're taking it somewhere I wasn't going. We could do that now. Any day you want, we could do that. But what I'm saying is, we're talking about Kyrie Irving not showing up for the Brooklyn Nets after he got guys to show up for the Brooklyn Nets. And here you go bringing up all of that other stuff. We can do that. We can do that. But I wasn't trying to do that. That's yes, where I'm calling him selfish. Ain't nobody questioning his right. He has the right to do it. He also has the right to go the hell away then. Retire. Retire then. Because you, you, le you left your teammates hanging. That's say, my hold, point. Okay. Hold on and say, hold on. Because I, I, I do want to I, I do want to tap in on something you said um, with, with the Kyrie situation. When it comes to him, 
okay? And I understand where you're coming from from basketball and his responsibility to the guys that he's in the locker room with. But this is a new situation. Like, mm-hmm. let, I, and I don't, I think that's what Jay is trying to tell you, that now you usher in the vaccine mandate. And it, look, I don't know Kyrie. I don't know him personally. I don't know why he's deciding to do this. I know being a voice for the voiceless don't make sense to me in this particular situation. But we can't deny the fact that the COVID-19 vaccine mandate has changed people's mind about how they want to go about their job and if they want to continue to do their job. I absolutely understand what you're saying about his responsibility to KD and James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets, but this information, obviously about COVID, has been out. And Kyrie has not decided to get vaccinated, which leads me to believe that he doesn't want to at this point. And also, it does cause a rift in the Brooklyn Nets locker room and what they have to do and how they go about getting ready and playing through a season. But we also have to acknowledge that the vaccine mandate has changed people's mind. It did for other players in the NBA. And I know you hold this this in high regard and you've covered this league for a long time. I just want to, listening to you and Jay go back and forward, to me the clarity is you're talking about basketball and Kyrie not being there, which evolves into him not taking the vaccine and not being able to participate in the state of New York. But when you think about When you think about this thing in totality, a vaccine mandate is ushered a new conversation into the overall COVID conversation. And I think that's what Jay is dealing with, the life part of it, and you talking about the basketball. So both of you are not wrong. Y'all just coming from it from two different angles. And as you know, we sat on this and we talked about Kyrie a week ago. And I said, look, man, you got the right to do what you want to do, but the consequences are going to be there. And yeah, I feel bad for KD and James Harden not having Kyrie and trying to go after a championship. But there's a bigger scope of things happening with this mandate, and Kyrie is choosing to take this stance. Now, again, I don't know what the hell the stance is about because I don't want somebody that's made over three, $200 million telling me that you need to be a voice for me, and I'm making $12 an hour just trying to keep my head above water to take care of my family. I'm going to probably go take the vaccine. So we ain't speaking the same language when it comes to that. But I think you and Jay just have two conflicting things that y'all talking about and y'all trying to marry them. And it's not the same thing that y'all talking about. All right, Marcus, I appreciate that. Jay, do you have any final words, anything you want to say here before we go to break? No, 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 I'm good. And and you're good. This real life, though. This real life. This is what people are doing in real life. And this is real conversation. uh, I'm talking about basketball. Basketball. Absolutely. I'm talking about basketball. Jay's my man. I just felt Jay went to a place we want to go. We started off the conversation because Kyrie, the report said Kyrie doesn't have a problem with the vaccine. He has a problem because yep. he wants to give a voice to the voiceless. Yeah. That's that what the yeah. so in, 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 in defense, in, in defense of Kyrie, in defense of Kyrie, right or wrong, he's not trying to hurt people. He's trying to help people. And, and, and that is his intention. So we do respect that, even if we don't agree with it. He's trying to help some people. Okay. Doesn't care if All he right. hurt others. This is Hoppin' Bob. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. You run afoul of Bob, you run afoul of me. I'm tired, boss. He said it's too hot, boss. He tired. Too hot. He tired. Uh-huh. You tell that lazy jigaboo the state of Mississippi, I ain't interested. And his meteorological assessment. Listen up, Jigaboo. State of Mississippi ain't interested in your, your uh, 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 meteorological assessments. You tell him the state of Mississippi is only interested in getting this here ditch cleared by sundown. State of Mississippi want this here ditch cleared by sundown. You got that, boy. Got it. Boss. He don't sound like he from around here. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. He from New York City, boss. All of you, yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones, but you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to be my apostles. 
I need you to be my apostles. Let the church say amen. Mm-hmm. Let the church Everybody. say amen.